Okay, Mercedes W202 Climate Control. Uh, a few people have asked me, and I was planning on doing this video, um, actually, on what the uh, climate control um, sensor readings are when you go into the diagnostic mode. And there's two diagnostic modes, actually. There's one when you have a problem to diagnose uh, trouble codes. I have those. I don't have them with me, so I won't be doing that one today. But uh, today I'm just going to be doing the... Uh, uh, sensor value codes so uh, I've got my car running you can have it running or in position 2 on uh, on the key with the key turned on uh, I've got mine running um, so anyway let's go through it first thing you do cars running um, or in key position 2 better better to do it running anyway um, push the rest button the residual heat button hold that in until the display changes on the left and it starts flashing now that 11 degree, or uh, zero 01, that's the temperature. That's the temperature inside your car at the moment. Yeah, it's 11 degrees in here. It's freaking freezing. <laughs> um, okay, so let's go to number two. So you see it, it's gone to zero 02. This is the outside temperature sensor, so it tells you how, what temperature is outside. Two degrees Celsius, which matches up with my dashboard clock. So two, to, two degrees Celsius. Number three. That's the heater core temperature. That's the temperature of the heater core inside the car right now. So that's the temperature of the coolant inside the heater core. And I can feel warm air starting to blow, so that's more than likely about right. So I'll go to number. There's no four, there's a number five. Number five is the evaporator temp temperature sensor. That's the evaporator for the um, uh, da, 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 for the AC system. So that's the temperature of the evaporator. It's 4 degrees Celsius. Next is number 6. This is coolant temperature sensor in your engine. So that's the temperature of the coolant in the engine as the car gets warmer. That's going to heat up. So let's rev it up a little bit see if we can't go up. See that go up to 45 or something. It's at 44. It was at 43 when just when I switched over to number that to number six, there we go, 45. Okay, so we're gonna go to number seven, which is the refrigerant pressure, the pressure in uh, bars of pressure, barometric pressure, and I think a bar is 13 point something pounds, but it's 2.7 bars, 2.7 bars of pressure inside the coolant system, so you know you don't have a leak, there's no leak in the cooling system, it is pressurized. Number eight. Number eight is the refrigerant temperature. So that's the temperature of the refrigerant inside the cooling lines, four degrees Celsius. I'm not testing that and see if it's actually cold because I'm freaking freezing. It's 11, remember, in here. Uh, number nine is not used whatsoever on this model, anyway. Okay, and where are we now? Now that's the blower control voltage. That's the voltage that is going to the heater blower at the moment. I don't think it's 245 volts. I'm assuming there must be a decimal in there. 250 volts to the blower. I really don't see how, but that's what my uh, print off my manual says. Number 20, uh, that's the current control for the auxiliary, auxiliary fan in milliamps. So the auxiliary fan isn't on right now, so there are no milliamps to show. Number 21, that's RPMs. Add a zero to that, uh, so it's 800 RPMs, which is yeah, about right. 800 RPMs. So, sorry, a little wobbly here. Moving on. 22 is vehicle speed. Not moving, so the sensor's not going to show anything. But if I was moving, that does show the speed. I've checked it a million times before it does work. That is the speed. So we're going to 23, and this is the uh, diagnostic pin under the hood 
Um, I think it's the 58 pin connector under the hood. We hook up the diagnostic computer and that just tells whether what the voltage is going to be reading at the diagnostic pin. How, what percentage of voltage is getting to the diagnostic pin. And right now 100% of voltage is getting to the pin. So that just tells if you do hook up the diagnostic connector that you are going to get full voltage from the battery to the diagnostic pin. Number 24 is battery volts, current battery volts. I think we went through that one before. Um, that's how much uh, voltage the alternator is putting out and keeping the battery charged at. So 13.9, 14 volts, absolutely proper. So that's number 24. And we're at number 40, which is uh, the software version for the... Uh, uh, for the air conditioner controller, and this would be something that technicians would want to be knowing, uh, like the soft software upgrade number, uh, like you know, like Windows uh, software updates. There can be updates on the software in your car, and this is the software version. So it looks like this is version two or 2.0. Let's call it 2.0 just for the hell of it. And this is the hardware version uh, for the same. Uh, for the cooling system, it's version 3 of the hardware. Now we got 42, which is the variant code. Um, which I'm not 100% sure on, but I'm assuming that's the variant code. Uh, different uh, models, different um, different cars, the, the S class, the C class, the, the E class, all use the same climate controller. So I'm assuming they had different variants uh, that use the same controller and different. there would be different outputs um, you know, depending on the car. Maybe there are different sensors, maybe there are other sensors. That, uh, this right now that I'm reading to is from the W202. The other ones are probably fairly similar but not 100%. And um, 43 should be the exact same thing. It is the version code again, 6C. I'm wondering if that's C-Class. I'm not 100% sure. I haven't been able to find out this information. Uh, I've been trying to, but um, if I do find out, I'll let you know. Where are we now? Number 50. This is supposed to be not used on my car, but it says 37 degrees Celsius, which I am not 100% sure what that is. This one in, the, in my car, in my manual, says this one's not used. So, <laughs> I don't know, something's 37 degrees Celsius. Hopefully it's going to be my seat soon because I'm still freaking freezing. 51, 29 degrees Celsius. Now, I'm 99.9% .9 sure that is the setting that I've got it set up on, on, the, um, uh, on, on the climate control. That's the temperature I've set it at, and we'll check that in a second. Uh, there's only one more code to go. I think it's 54. Nope. That's 52. 52 is 9. Wait a minute, what did we miss here? 50. 43, which we went through, which is the variant code. 50, which I wasn't sure of. Sorry. Oh, 51 is also supposed to be not used as according to this, uh, the paperwork I've got. But that's showing, that is, I'm 99% sure that is the setting on my temperature sensor here. Uh, I'm pretty sure I put it at 29. 52, again, it's not supposed to be used. 9 degrees Celsius, I'm assuming, I'm assuming these are readings from inside different vents in the car, which I'm pretty sure that 37 degrees Celsius is probably the vent temperature reading in the heating and air conditioning vents inside the car of the, uh, the air it's blowing through. Um, not the temperature of the interior of the car, but the uh, temperature of the air blowing through the vents. So last one is 54, and this is a uh, semi-diagnostic uh, thing. It can either show on or off, and it's the uh, in an emergency that the AC compressor is supposed to shut itself off or on, or go into an on or off position. On meaning the air conditioning has been shut off, and off meaning it hasn't signaled it to shut off. My air conditioning is working fine, so it should show off that the emergency is not enabled. So let's take this off of rest and see if that 29 degrees for 50... I think it was 51. Or is it 50? 51. 
51 showing 29 degrees. So yes, 51 is the temperature you have set into your computer uh, for your wanted interior temperature sensor. So anyway, I'm going to try and, uh, and, and get a little bit more information on this. I know this was a little long of a video just for showing this stuff. But um, anyway, uh, that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching.